You've seen us use TIG welders many times, but we haven't talked much about the basics of TIG. They're probably the most versatile welding tool you can have in a fab shop because you can weld nearly any metal in any thickness with the right combination of electricity, tungsten, and filler metal. You can weld mild or stainless steel, aluminum, titanium, chromoly, or even inconel, pretty much any of the exotic alloys that you'd use in motorsports fabrication. Now with a stick or a MIG welder, you can kind of run over the top of anything, whether it be rust or paint or oil. I mean, should you? No. But with the TIG welder, surface preparation is key to ensuring quality, consistent welds. So I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks I use to make sure you have good, clean welds every time. First, clean up the area which you are going to weld with acetone. This will remove any oils or grease from the surface. If you grind it first, you could be pushing oils and contaminants further into the material. On a rusty piece of metal like this, it's important to remove all the corrosion. Our preferred method is a flap wheel on an angle grinder. Once all the rust is gone and the edges are prepared and you have nice shiny metal, clean it again with acetone inside and out. Then start welding. Notice how the arc is bright and stable with a nice bluish color and no popping or slag. Let me show you what happens if I try to weld dirty metal. It has oil from cutting, a layer of mill scale and rust. The arc is unstable, it pops and the tungsten is getting dirty. One of the more difficult parts of TIG welding is keeping your tungsten electrode clean. You can be welding along and hit a little pocket of rust, oil or any other contamination and the molten puddle can actually bubble up and stick to the tungsten electrode. And when that happens, it's best just to stop welding and sharpen your tungsten. Because if you don't, the art quality will suffer and your welds will just go downhill. So I'm going to show you an inexpensive way to sharpen your tungsten with tools you probably already have in your shop so you don't have to go out and buy a dedicated tungsten grinder. Take a drill and set it to low speed. Slide the tungsten into the end and turn on the grinder. You want to slowly spin the tungsten and work it back and forth on the grinding wheel as to not make grooves. Grind the tungsten until all the impurities are gone and sharpened to a point. You want to have a wheel that you use only for tungsten. Otherwise, you could be contaminating the electrode with other metals, which would make the arc unstable. Also, don't hold the tungsten perpendicular to the wheel. You want to grind in the same direction as the electrode. This will help keep the arc tight and straight. 